What is going on, YouTube Fascinating Graveyard? Today we are at the West Lawn Cemetery here in Wayne, Michigan, right next to Dearborn, right outside of Detroit. I was getting gas and I'm on my way. Literally, I have no idea where I'm going. I cannot figure it out. I'm just, literally, I'm just driving around for the last 20 minutes. I passed this cemetery and I seen the sign West Lawn. I said, oh, I said, I know somebody's buried there. I know somebody is buried at West Lawn that I wanted to visit. And lo and behold, yeah, Jackie Wilson is buried here at this cemetery. So who is Jackie Wilson? Some of you may not know who he is, but I'm pretty sure most of you do. Uh, Jackie Wilson uh, was a very famous singer that was born in Detroit, Michigan on June 9th, 1934. Now, before there was Motown, right? Before Motown got started, uh, there was Jackie Wilson and a lot of stars that signed on with Motown looked up to him. Uh, he had a very interesting past, to say the least. I did not know this and neither did you. But he was a gangster gangster back in the day. Um, little Ruffian growing up in the streets of Detroit did a couple stints in the pokey as a youthful offender. Uh, the second time around when he got arrested, he actually picked up the art of boxing. Not a really good boxer. Uh, in the Golden Gloves department, uh, he was two and eight. Okay, not bad. He won two times, but he did lose eight times. Uh, however, he wanted to stick with boxing because he actually liked it, but his mother just didn't want to see her son ruining his beautiful face. So she said, hey, why don't you get into something else? And that something else was uh, being a very good singer. Uh, he was uh, the lead singer of a group I heard called the Dominoes for a few years until he went out on his own, I believe, in the late 50s. Uh, if you don't know his songs, I mean, uh, I, probably his most famous song uh, is probably uh, Your Love Keeps Lifting Me High. I think that's what it's called. Your Love Keeps Me, Your Love Keeps me Lifting Higher and Higher, Higher. Yeah, I got to stop singing these songs, guys. I got to stop. Um, Lonely Teardrops, that's another one that comes to my mind. Uh, and To Be Loved, of course. Of course. And me not even really looking this up, it's easy, very easy to see, very easy to see that Elvis Presley definitely, I'm not going to say stole his moves, but definitely Jackie Wilson had a rather large influence on Elvis Presley. I mean, that's a very apparent. I believe Elvis Presley would even go check out his shows here in Detroit. And a lot of people are going to say, well, you know, Elvis stole, you know, rock music from black singers. And you know what? Let, let me tell you this. Everybody was borrowing stuff from everybody. And you can easily say the same about black entertainers borrowing moves from Elvis Presley themselves. So I think uh, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Wouldn't you agree, guys? You know what I mean? Uh, anyways, uh, he almost met his own demise in 1961. I believe one of his lovers, and when I say one of them, I mean one of many. This guy was a known um, playboy, if you will. Uh, there's legends, if you want to even call it legends, that this guy fathered about uh, 14, 15 kids. Uh, he was married, I believe, a few times. And uh, man, you can't keep a good brother down, I'll tell you that much right now. Uh, good old Jackie Wilson. And, uh, you know, hey, when you're making a lot of money and what have you, you know, you're popular, kid. What are you going to do? So uh, a tragic situation, uh, and, you know, leading to his death. And I found absolutely fascinating yet very sad. Um, so he was performing at a uh, Latin casino in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. And when he was on stage... I guess he had this act where he would sweat really profusely, right? And he would sweat like that because he would take these salt tablets right before he would perform, okay? 
And while he was singing the song, and it, it's really a, a, an eerie coincidence because he was singing the song, and in one of his songs, the lyrics, My Heart is Crying, and as soon as he sang that, he grabbed his chest and he collapsed. And people started applauding on stage because they thought it was a part of the act, but little did they know, he had a massive heart attack. By the time they got him to a hospital, uh, he was, you know, they, they did bring him back, but he was never the same after that. Uh, he was in a vegetative state for many years. Uh, he ended up uh, dying, I believe from pneumonia that was uh, resulted from complications of that uh, massive heart attack that he suffered. And he died January 21st, 1984. You know, Jackie Wilson guys, um, you know, if it wasn't for Jackie Wilson, there might not have been a Michael Jackson because Michael Jackson idolized two men. And, he, you know, two men are responsible for Michael Jackson's, uh, pretty much his career in terms of him uh, emulating. One is James Brown, get down James Brown. And the other man was this man right here. And that's Jackie Wilson. And he, you know, was idolized by many, many, many singers of many, many different colors and religions and races and all, all of that. Three of his kids died in really tragic fashions. He had a kid, Jackie Jr., was shot and killed right uh, next to his house, I believe on the porch in 1970. And he had another daughter, Jacqueline, uh, who died of, a, I believe, a drug overdose in the late 80s. And his other daughter, Sandra, when she was 24, she died of a heart attack. I mean, yeah, very tragic story. Uh, this man, very legendary, but very tragic at the same time. And he was actually buried here in an unmarked grave, but a Detroit-based disc jockey got people together to do a fundraiser to buy him this amazing uh, crypt right here. And this is the legendary Mr. Excitement, uh, Jackie Wilson. He's buried alongside his mother, uh, Eliza Wilson. No more lonely teardrops. Yeah, that is beautiful. Yeah, there was no way. I mean, I, boy, I, let me tell you, I'm glad that I stopped by this cemetery because as soon as I seen Westlawn, I already knew somebody was here. Okay, rest in peace to Jackie and Mother Wilson. I'm glad I was able to stop by and tell the quick story. I'm not the best storyteller. I try, y'all. I do try. Anyways, guys, I will catch up with you later. Fascinating graveyard. Have a good day. Peace out.